shovels for the bearings, so. though. Yo, this is where all the profits are made. See that plant right there? Profit, profit, profit. At least this whole thing didn't go through the combine. Yeah, I can't believe they were full. There it all goes. Going up some of these hills definitely pegs out that uh, harvest track. Dumping quite a bit out the back of the combine. All right, well, good morning, guys. Today we are back out on our farm in the first cornfield that we're gonna be cutting today. Yesterday, I actually came out here with the combine. There was a lot of frost on the corn. Like I said before, we're kind of new to cutting corn. I didn't know if you could cut corn with a whole bunch of frost on the plants, so I tried it. I'll show you uh, how efficient the combine was with uh, being able to separate the corn from the plant itself. And uh, you look here down on the ground, Oh yeah, we got a lot of corn all over the place, the whole way up in about a four foot swath. So, went to the back of the combine and uh, just walk over there real quick. So I looked under in the screens here and they are packed with frost right there. Don't know if you guys can actually see that or not. Look at this. It's like dirty frost. So we actually have a problem. I thought this was going to, because of this morning, you know, there's no frost out here now. And I thought, uh, you know, all burnt off and maybe, you know, melted stuff around here. And I was hoping it would melt all the frost in here. Looks like it has not done that. So we've got to somehow get this all worked out of here. <laughs> Let's have a look on the ground to make sure there's not so much corn coming out the back of the machine. And uh, so far, there's one right there. Let's see. Oh, what? What is this all about? Well, there's one right there. I mean, that was the tip of it, though. We maybe could close the concaves down just a little bit. There's some corn on the ground. Oh, this cob looks pretty good. Well, there's one. Let's uh, look back in the screens and make sure they're all clean still. There's no frost out this morning, but uh, let's just make sure it's all looking good. I mean, so far, it's actually looking pretty nice. Let's 
looks like uh, one of the pivot drop tubes that uh, broke off during the watering season. That's obviously one of the ones that I replaced a while back in the summer. And uh, there it was, two rows in from where I was cutting. I just happened to look over and uh, there it was, just laying there. So I'm glad we saw that just laying there because that would have probably not been the funnest thing to hit with the corn head and possibly run through the whole combine. Just making sure those belts all look good and I think they're all good. Let's go, let's move on. Get a load of this money spot. You know, this is where all the profits are made right here. See, see that plant right there? Profit, profit, profit. The one right there, profit. Look at this one, coming in. No cob, I guess, no profit. Right here, three more plants coming in, profit. Oh, there we go, we got them. Look at all these ones right here. This is incredible. Well, it looks like we uh, apparently found another one, another drop tube, and uh, yeah, it looks like the corn head kind of stripped her right off like a corn stalk. Luckily, I was able to stop it in time. There it is. I'm not sure where the nozzle part is at, but uh, at least this whole thing didn't go through the combine. And if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure we had three of them break off before we got smart and realized we should just wrap the hoses on the pipe uh, so that the nozzles sit higher instead of dragging through the corn. the field behind us there that's taking that last uh, truckload back to the wet bin and the dryer we're gonna head over to a field right over there don't know if you can see but it's right it's right there truck is full and the dryer is running so I guess all we can do tonight is just finish topping off the combine here which it's just about there and then we can't do anything else until the dryer uh, gets done probably later tonight but we're not going to do anything about it until the morning. I think he's doing a great job. Yeah, I definitely say we're full. There it all goes. We're gonna shut her off and uh, 
unload this before we lose any more. Oh, dang it. Son of a gun. Come on, man. you guys well welcome back to what is probably most likely if everything goes right the last day of corn harvest for us and now that I think about it probably the last day of any sort of field work for 2023 now here's the deal we got probably 15 acres left to do kind of had a late start today it's like uh, I don't even know where my phone is at like four o'clock in the afternoon it's getting dark and there's rain and snow headed this way should be here in a couple hours i think we're warmed up enough on idle dumping this uh bulker into here go ahead give her some full throttle speed things up now that last field of corn that we cut that was 30% moisture corn. Because of that, our dryer, for some reason, it's a batch dryer and it doesn't really dry down 30% corn that evenly. So we had to run all that corn through the dryer twice, which is the reason we have such a late start uh, today. This corn that we're cutting right now, it's about 19% and uh, one pass through the dryer ought to bring it down to below 12%, which is what we want. Go ahead, throttle back a little bit, engage a separator. Everything sounds good. Go ahead, give her full throttle. 723 billion RPM right there. Turn on the head, header switch. Thing is running uh, good enough. We're gonna cut. Well, I, I'm gonna put this in first gear. There we go. Now, whatever we did for weed control on this field, uh, I think we need to replicate that next year because this field looks dang good. I mean, I wouldn't mistake this for conventional. We do have some corn plants that are laid over because we had a pretty uh, strong wind about a week ago and it did knock some of them down so I got the head pretty much almost all the way on the ground. Try to pick up those uh, few plants down here that are leaning down. slow down to look 1.6 miles an hour and I got the fans turned down to uh, a 980 I did have them up at like 1050 so hopefully that kind of saves some kernels from getting uh, pushed out the back when we got the combine going up a hill we're coming up on the last two little triangle pieces that we got here I don't know what does that look like to you guys starting to snow Thank you. 
we go you guys starting to snow quite a bit now I think it was getting to the point where it was gonna be too much snow and we would have had to stop but uh, we finished just in the nick of time I think it was perfect timing it was literally perfect timing also my camera battery is just about dead my phone is just about dead we're done with the field we're going home park this thing undercover that's gonna be it for harvest 2023 Had stories about the city life and the crazy nights. I figure I should probably give it a try. Maybe check it out, see what it's all about. But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. The people I met you never get to know. I kind of miss this place I used to live back home. Cause up here it's pregnant. Trying to save your time, in case you're thinking about breaking out the